This is all about the latest in China innovation and super engineering construction happening in the country. After facing difficult challenges, looks like China has easily bounced back into continuous innovation and advancement in technology and infrastructure mega projects. Take a look. Hi everyone, Richard Aguilar here again and I'm back with another awesome video. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our great videos. And since we don't want to waste your time, here we go with China's latest technological innovation and super engineering in action. Number one is China's first satellites for IoT project. China launched its first two space-based IoT satellites, the Xingyun project. The satellites Xingyun 201 and 02 were launched by a Kuaizhou 1A carrier rocket from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China. These two China satellites named Xingyun 01 and Xingyun 02 will be working in a sun synchronous orbit. The satellites will conduct tests on technologies including space-based IoT communications, inter-satellite laser communications, and low-cost commercial satellite platform. Number 2 is China on completing construction of new space station. China is already making success when it comes to manned space program. They aim to complete the construction of a space station by 2022, following the successful launch of the Long March 5B carrier rocket. The new large carrier rocket Long March 5B made its maiden flight from the Wenchang Space Launch Center, sending the trial version of China's new and latest generation manned spaceship and a cargo return capsule for test into space. Number 3 is China Laos Railway Tunnels Border Drilling China Railway No. 2 Engineering Group said that it has drilled through the Friendship Tunnel from northern Laos to the borderline with China. The progress has laid a solid foundation for the completion of the railway by December 2021. Number 4 is Deck Carrier Transporting Giant Windmill Blades. A deck carrier using electric propulsion starts its maiden voyage from China's Tianjin port, taking windmill blades to Norway. So, if you haven't seen giant windmill blades, then here they are. 
they are as big as what you are seeing in here. Number 5 is Construction of China-Russia East Route Natural Gas Pipeline. In Northeast China's Liaoning Province, construction of the China-Russia East Route Natural Gas Pipeline is in full swing. The cross-border gas pipeline has a 3,000-kilometer section in Russia and a 5,111-kilometer stretch in China. Watch! Number 6 is Mega Railway Bridge over Yellow River. Two section of a massive bridge over the Yellow River, the second longest river in China, were successfully joined together in Zhangzhou City, capital of central China's Henan province. As part of the railways linking Zhangzhou and Jinan, capital of eastern China's Shandong province, the bridge has been designed as a common channel for many intercity and interprovincial routes to cross the Yellow River. Number 7 is China's economy to be back on track. Despite the impact of COVID-19, the Chinese economy is now on the way to be back on track. Even during the times when COVID-19 was still worse in China, still they managed to proceed towards progress. And now, we can see that slowly but gradually, they keep their pace of becoming back on track when it comes to economic stability. Number 8 is Wind Barriers Installed on World's Longest Cross-Sea Road Rail Bridge Workers are getting into the swing of installing wind barriers on Pingtan Strait Road Rail Bridge, the world's longest cross-sea road rail bridge in southeast China's Fujian province. Number 9 is Static Tester of China-made Xinjiang 700. China is not behind when it comes to airspace technology. And with that being said, here comes the static tester of China-made Xinjiang 700 aircraft, which has been delivered in Xi'an, China. That's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. 
So if you have something to say about this video, please leave your comment below. And once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.